Brady Wilson. He's a big boy. He's doing real well this year. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what he can do here. He's just going to have to kind of set the pace of this match. And, you know, it, he doesn't even necessarily have to get the fall here because, uh, you know, heavyweights, as you said earlier, don't always do a whole lot. And uh, getting a few stalling cautions uh, will knock him right out of the match, too. So, Bra bottom line is Brady's just got to attack. Number two versus number three. These two guys know each other pretty well. They've met for like 500 times during their college career. Well, not like 500, but they've met. Oh, quite frequently. The last one went in favor of Brady Wilson in a 4-1 decision at the National Duels. Now Wilson with an ankle, with a driving with a double. He's going to get no points as Wilson oh. couldn't finish as the wizard was thrown in there at the last second by Lewis, and he kind of hipped out, and they were hip to hip. And Lewis comes up limping. And we got blood time, it looks like. That was a nice shot by Brady, a nice finish. You know, that, and that's what he's got to do. Like I said, he's got to set the pace of this match. He's just got to attack, 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 attack. Because what it really, you know, like you said, he, he's got to get the fall here. He's got to attack. Um, he can't be thinking about a 3-1, to 4-1 to one win. He's got to be thinking about going for the kill here. This crowd getting behind Wilson. The bench getting behind Wilson. Pretty good crowd here. I couldn't hear the attendance figure on what it was announced. But you need a fall, a heavyweight. You got the number one team in the country. And the number three team in the country, the number two heavyweight in the country with Wilson and the number three with Lewis. Wilson out of fair ball. Now, nice, nice throw by. He's going to try to score, and he breaks him down, gets a two-point takedown. Now with two hands on the inside wrist, and he's got the leg in. Now there's a cross face. It's Brady's good with that cradle. The cradle. Uh -oh. that cradle. Listen to this crowd. They need it. They're they want it. it. Got to run that out. He's got to run across that face. He's There's a cross get... face. He breaks him down. Got him broke Can't down. quite get it. Hell, even John May's sister over there on the edge <laughs> screaming for a cradle. <laughs> Pat May, the her dad, just kind of sitting there stoic, watching the match. Ref, uh, the, the fans here wanting a stall. Wilson trying to do anything he can to get that cradle. He's got that wrist tied underneath, trying to go between. He's got that ankle hooked. He's running it nice, but. Uh... Lewis doing a good job not letting himself get broken down again here. Fans still wanting a stall. Lewis to his feet. Wilson cuts him free. Two to one. 115 to go. First period. Riding time at 52 seconds. Final match of the evening. Nebraska Omaha, number one in the country, leading Mankato, number three in the country, 17 to 12. We're at heavyweight with number two and number three in the nation. And to steal a line from old Milwaukee, it just doesn't get any better than this here in Mankato, Minnesota on a Friday night. Unless there's other things to do in Mankato on Friday. Plenty to do, but, uh, you know, Brady's got to treat these last, uh, you know, he's got five minutes or so left here, and he needs to make this just, quite frankly, a five-minute sprint. Um, like I said earlier, he, he can't be looking for a four-to-one win because that does nothing for the team, and uh, he's got to really open it up here. I think Lewis is content right now to just sit in the center and stall which is exactly why Brady's got to force that action. Like I said, start getting those stalling points because, you know, a guy gets the stalling points, uh, a couple of cautions against him, and he starts to change how he wrestles, and that gives you more opportunities. It, it makes the other guy open up. 15 seconds to go, first period. Brady Wilson been controlling all the action over Tony Lewis, a senior out of Ulysses, Kansas. Wilson from Fairbolt, Minnesota, known for its blue cheese. And that's the end of the first period. Wilson holding a 2-1 lead. See, I know my geography. I, I know my, I know my cultural geography. You just taught me something because I didn't realize they were known the for The sandstone cheese. caves of Sparebolt <laughs> Dairy. Come on. I, I saw it on, like, the cooking channel, the Food Network last week. <laughs> I'll go ask Brady's parents about that afterwards. <laughs> Lewis on top. Wilson trying to get up to his feet. Up on the edge on the far edge, trying to circle in. And he gets a one-point escape, and he's going to shoot Lewis off the mat. That front row is in... Uh, a dangerous situation when you got two big boys like Lewis and Wilson flying right at you. Yeah, they'll go 10, 12 feet real, in a real hurry. Three to one lead for Brady Wilson of the host Mavericks of Minnesota State over Tony Lewis of the visiting Mavericks of Nebraska Omaha. This is a, this is a college journalist's worst nightmare because you can't use the word Mavericks at all in the story. <laughs> Purple versus black. You know, even if Brady wants to, to sit and hang there, he's going to have to at least, uh, you know, he's got to make himself look busy, if anything. Even Another stalemate. Jeez. Yeah, even if he's not going to, you know, 
turn this into that sprint. He's got to make himself look busy and try to get that first or second stalling call uh, against Lewis. And like I said, you know, at least try and change how he's going to wrestle against him. Fakes the double. Fakes going high, then fakes going low, and fakes doing anything else. As we got a minute to go here in the second period, Brady Wilson holding a 3-1 advantage. And it's going to have to be a fall or nothing because we're not seeing a tech fall. We're not going to see a major decision unless something crazy happens in the last three minutes of action. Although, I have seen some 26 to 17 heavyweight matches before, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I got a feeling they're not going to be here in Mankato tonight not, with a 3-1 lead for Wilson. Yeah, not after a 3-1 after the first four minutes. You're probably not going to see that 26-17. I'd like to thank the folks here at the Northern Sun Intercollegiate Conference and their northernsun.tv broadcast team and the technology department here at Minnesota State Mankato for hooking us up here at Wrestling 411 and be able to bring you this broadcast tonight here from Mankato, Minnesota, where it's 35 degrees and nice on Friday. But temperature's still a little warm here inside as I drop a cliche on you with about 15 seconds to go, second period. Brady tying up there and kind of hanging a little bit. I, I think the coach is, uh, you know, listening to what Johnny May is yelling to him over there. You know, Johnny wants him to clear out a little bit and start taking some more shots. This is a smart move by Tony Lewis taking neutral. But he hasn't been hit for a stall yet, which is really surprising to me. we got some blood time here. Yeah, and that's, uh, you know, Brady could have done a little bit more, I think, earlier to, to dictate the pace of that. He, he had the opportunity a couple of times, and it was almost like he slowed down just a little bit. Listen to this. Crowd getting behind Wilson. They know what he needs to do. Started with a guy in the hat. He stood up, started clap. He's the clap guy. <laughs> he's been up. I think he's been on his feet half the, half the night here. It's what we like to see sitting just a few rows behind him uh, were Brady's parents. Now Wilson trying to attack. Working for the inside control. Wilson right now with his left arm on the inside. It's basically just collar, collar and head ties at this moment. He's 140 gotta, to go. He's going to get that tie. He's got to do something right with it right away. You know, Lewis, obviously, Lewis is quite happy if all they do is tie and hang up. Half shot by Lewis just to appear busy because he looked like he grabbed the ankle and just kind of spun back up to his feet. Wilson countering, looking yep. at the clock, realizing how much time he's got left. If he wants to pin Tony Lewis, I believe he has a fall victory over him in the past. I'm not sure exactly when it was, but I'm pretty sure I did see a outcome where Wilson did pin Lewis in the past. Lewis has been one of those guys that's been just kind of a guy that's been hanging around both of their careers. Wilson beat Lewis last year to win the national duels title. And heavyweight, so. Lewis doing, you know, he's kind of going with just a square stance there, reach a little bit, not do a whole lot, don't extend yourself, and as long as the official doesn't hit him for stalling, he's not going to change anything, so. Under a minute to go. Wilson trying to create some type of angle. Wilson in control, controlling the center. Brady's down to the last 100 meters here. He needs to, 30 needs seconds to, to go. burn those lungs out. Stall warning on Wilson? Wow. Wow. That, that is absolutely baffling to me. Yeah. That uh, That all, is absolute. I don't like to question officials, but that baffles me. All Lewis has done is stand in that square stance and do a little tap here and there. Brady's taking every attempt, every shot. That's He's another moving forward. Shot. Under 10 to go. And it looks like even with the bump, Nebraska-Omaha is going to come out of Mankato and escape with a 17-15 victory in this dual meet. And it has been a rather exciting meet up until that last, I guess that heavyweight match was kind of anticlimactic. But it was one of those matches where it was, you know, it was fighting tooth and nail. It was 29-10 the 